So FRD dot, um, I made a video on that actually. So you're asking about how much grub grubs per plant you need in order to have the grub grub rub effect. Is that what you're asking? That's tied to cake house, actually. If you didn't know, it's something similar to the old plug slug values. Instead of uh, wattage, it's how many rubs they give. So depending on how often they eat sulfur, or in their case, sucrose, if you're doing grub grubs and not sweetles, they're going to have different rates, regardless of if they're wild or tamed. The amount of rubs they do, the sweetle family and the grub grubs, because they're in the sweetle family, is directly tied to that. Happiness doesn't matter. None of that matters. It's literally how often they eat. If you have grub grubs eating regularly, they're going to do seven to nine times. If they don't, they're going to slowly deteriorate, doing a minimum of, I think it's, uh, I think the minimum they do is uh, one to three, depending on uh, RNG. But yeah, if you don't feed them, it's like one to three rubs per grub grub per day. But if you do feed them, it's anywhere between seven and nine. And then if you feed them and then you stop feeding them, it slowly deteriorates. Seven to nine goes to four to six and then one to three, right? So hope that helps. Hope you're still here. <laughs> I hope I'm not speaking to myself when I'm talking about that. All right, so this is uh, no longer accessible through the ladder way, which means everyone has to take the suits. Auto save line. So because of the water there, we're going to go here and here to go through, go through the ladders. Wait, you don't have a suit, Napolini's? You probably got there early. There we go. He got the suit on. I don't think they're doing the, the glitch, right? Yeah, man. You got to put a suit on, buddy. This guy. All right. So now that we have that, we can go into here now safely. So we're going to allow access. All right. And then we're going to start redoing the power wires. So we need one of these to come from here. And then two of these into here, and then we got to power the suits. So we're probably just going to maintain the same uh, type of distribution. So top line and the bottom line, same line with the desalinators. So I probably do want to try to grab that. I'll probably have to remove a couple airflow. I mean, uh, insulated tiles here should be fine. And then just build it from there. I don't want to break the left side. We'll put the tiles back. All right, so that's going to connect to here. We're going to have the other line go in from the top. So it's probably going to want to be like this. So then that becomes that line. This goes into the bottom. So we'll have two of these go up. So one of these probably needs to go all the way up. Makes sense. Probably have that one in the back. We'll have a bridge for that. That probably means I need to do that late or early. I'm sorry like this and then the bottom one probably goes down and then to the left so i do probably just go like this and then it goes through we'll have to cut the wire there afterwards and then this one oh no that's that one uh this one that shares i probably have to do some shenanigans here to make this make sense so, no one's going inside because it's kind of pointless. So, let's cut the power. This is actually 1440 watts. And I guess I could remove some of the pumps. Move it onto the top line so that we could use the bottom line here to go into the suits. So, 1440. That's actually just two pumps. That's kind of gross. That's not a lot of power. 480 right that becomes what uh 15 19 20 that's basically what this is at except this is way less active it's probably fine okay so that means pause 
we do this. We remove the power here. This goes upwards. And then it's the same thing. This goes like that. That should be fine. Uh, this should go like this. And then we'll have this here. And then it connects. And then we'll have a line from here go into probably like that. We'll have to remove everything else. All right, gotta wait for the dupes. FRD, you there, man? Feels bad. I was talking to myself. All right, let's trim that. And then let's also trim this. Make the jump from the bottom. A little bit of sweepage there, a little bit of mining here. Could mine a little bit here, don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, probably will. Mine out the Abyss Light as well. Alright, so we do have to take care of that. Hey, I learned something, so you weren't talking to no one. Hey, I see you, Ellie. Appreciate that. Glad the knowledge was not wasted. Glad the hero is helpful. Got to remove this. I'm probably going to have to build it here. Damn, I don't want to relocate my Mealwood farm, though. Such a pain. Welcome on in, though, Ellie. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'll be happy to answer. Let me know how it could help. Listening here, too. I see you, Rattlebone. Appreciate you guys. That should just connect. Dude, yeah. 101 dupes, dude. Got more balloons than Dalmatians. Nothing wrong, man. Balloons are cool. The only time balloons suck is if you're doing a gender reveal party. In which case, you know, don't be that guy. Oh, that's, that's, I don't know, man. Rattlebone, I don't know about that last comment. You might be Cruella DeVille. Holy shit. Is that actually you? I watch your tutorial on occasion. You came up on my recommended list. So I was like, sure. Hey, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Meeps are cool, dude. Meeps are my favorite dude. What's wrong with Meep, man? He's trying his best. I can't be mad at him. Thank you for watching my videos, though, Ellie. Appreciate that. Ooh, Slicks. No, we have, we have one tamed already. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, this guy doesn't look like he's that good. He has aesthetic design, but he's not a decorator. This guy is a cook that does nothing else. This guy's a doctor that farts. This guy's a murderer. I think we take Marie. I might just reject everybody. <laughs> nah, man. Meep's cool, dude. Meep's cool. No morbs in this house. Pips only. 3k hours? Damn, that's more than me. That's impressive. But Oni's one of those games, man. It's tough. It's tough to master. So don't beat yourself up for that. Oni is a tough learning curve, tough game to master. So don't think too much about it. Wait, didn't I make this access? No, I didn't. Alright, so there's a little bit of hydrogen here with the leak. It's fine. Alright, so we do need to rebuild this. Pushes the items out. I gotta sweep that. It's fine. Whoa, this is not actually too much oxygen. Okay, that's good. That's actually good. Alright, let's make some suits. Having too much oxygen is such a good sign. Currently going for all achievements in one run. Maybe my sixth attempt. No uh, reason other than to uh, keep me playing it. Yo, man, I do that too. I'm currently doing an all-achievement run. 
And I'm doing it with 100 dupes, because why not? <laughs> so we're almost done. We got to do job suitability. I'm saving that for right now, 101 dupes. I'll probably do that while I'm waiting to do the tear. I need to do transit dupes soon. We have the carnivore stuff already. Local war, super sustainable. Almost there. Almost there. Nine of these, and 12 of these, and all of the eggshells. Sometimes you just gotta do all achievements. It's a nice time. Gotta build that. This is actually connected, okay. Wait a second. This is 1920 watts. Hold up. Did I do bad math? I think I did. Because if I add the desalinator and the pump into this line, it's going to overload. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. This is not actually needed. I got to remove this. So the suit line is going to have the desalinator line now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this line just adds into that line, which is fair. And then this one just gets cut. So it's a different line. So this goes like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not bad. That's not bad. Hey, hey, Indel. What's good, man? How are you? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. If you guys don't know A.A. Hey, hey, Indel, that is the uh, cousin to A.A. Hey, hey, Ron. Be like that sometimes. Doing a live. Nice. Good to hear. Good to hear. Are you guys just idling? Y'all dupes, man. Just idling, huh? Thank you, you. We're doing all right. Taking it a day at a time. Just trying to do our best. All right. Build that out. Build out these wires. Should be all right. All right. So let's start setting up the steam turbine setup that I want to do. All right. We got this out of the way. I probably do move these eventually. I don't think we should but having a ladder well right here makes a lot of sense it's a long distance before we go up and down again so maybe we have space at the same time i don't want to have that space i guess it shouldn't matter man this is such a pain all right so we'll have the tiles there Realistically speaking, I could have this isolated in its own little module. In the grand scheme of things, it shouldn't matter. Like, like truth be told, that that should be how that is. You gotta do math, dude. You gotta do math. Sometimes you gotta calculate how much meal lice you need for each duplicate in the colony. You gotta do math, dude. <laughs> Hate to say it, man, but you gotta do it. How do we want to do this? We have two wires. I kind of want to use those for other things, but you know, maybe we can't. Hmm. It's going to be so much power as well. So we turbine reverse, and then I need one for the aqua tuner and one for the meta refinery. It does seem like this would be the location, but we could also put it here. Here, actually. Wouldn't be bad. Use this as a hallway to go left and right. Do we keep the ladder? We could think about that later. Meta refinery. 
steam turbine. All the power wires are in the area already. I will get rid of this though. And then I don't block out the cold energy from the ice that's keeping the mealwood cool. And it also is pretty close by to my bedroom, so getting to work is not that bad. Alright, you know what? I'll settle on that. We'll use this area. So we'll have to use this as a hallway. That's the hallway, so our setup's going to be in between. So I'll probably do a lower segment setup, which is a little bit weird, but shouldn't be that bad. CO2 line, we can remove that later. So what we need to figure out is where I want this. Looking how the power lines are sticking out like that, I probably want to be to the right of this with the metal refinery. Especially probably because we're probably going to use this line or maybe this line. Switch out the lines for the uh, setup. So if we have a metal refinery, I'll make this out of... Uh... Igneous, doesn't really matter. If I have it here, I probably want space next to it immediately to be insulated. And then the top room, I'm going to have to insulate as well, right? Hmm, how do I want to do this? So let's... Cut up the middle. What makes the most sense is having my reservoirs in this box, steam turbine here. And then this is empty space. Well, I guess it's fine. Gotta run for a few hours, hopefully. You'll be on when I get back. Peace, everyone. Except for me. Oh, feels bad for me, dude. Gets no love. Rather won't have a good one. Have a safe trip. We'll see you later, man. And yo, man. Take care of business. Meep's cool, dude. Meep's actually pretty cool. Just getting no love right now. Alright, let's let them chill out for a second. Let's check out the up top setup. Is it all done? Can I swap out all the wires yet? I kind of could. Alright, so... First things first, this is going to be on the line. Uh, I guess we could do this until we could get rid of the heavy watt wire. Hmm. I guess I don't need the spawn running indefinitely right now. So let's take out the power wire here first. And then we're going to want to do that setup, which means this gets cut. And then let's do the conductive wire bridge just to make it clean. That powers the suits right there. Remove this. Uh, once we get this built, I think we'll be fine. All right, let's make these a higher priority. Yeah, aren't unibrows in fashion now? Maybe. Oh my god, I love that emote. Six to nine, nice. <laughs> that setup, man. That setup. Alright, we gotta cut this. We gotta cut this. This and that. That goes here. That goes there. Once we connect that, that's all removed. So this is gone. Planter box removed. And then we gotta remove this wire as well. And then all we got to do is connect the top line, separate line. So now this is good. We could cut this line now because the suit line is no longer needed. If they're on that line, remove that. Pliers mod so good. Pliers mod kind of OP sometimes. It's really convenient. <laughs> it's really convenient. All right, so everything's good. Let's actually wire out everything properly and we'll remove the bridges afterwards. And then let's sweep out all the unnecessaries inside. Let's just get rid of it. And then these transformers are removed. Sweet, sweet. Let's also sweep out this area. 
Not bad. All right, so over here, we're going to want to build that, mine this. Oh, and all the water is gone. Oh, that's great. All right, so mop, mop, mop. And I think we're almost done. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Because once this is done, we could clear basically these chunks of of uh, mass, whatever you want to call it, which probably means I could get rid of the pipeline now. Remove that. Uh, once this is done, we remove all the water. Pitcher pump. We have the bridge pump set up here that needs to be removed. Sweet. All right, all right. Got to wait for all those small little items to get swept. Otherwise, it's doing pretty good. Good stuff, good stuff. So, okay, this got built. All right, so by design, we would have reservoirs in here. One space gap. And then let's do another one space gap. No, actually, we probably don't need it. Just in case, though, we will give them a one space gap. They could climb up from here, go out from this way, so it should be safe. And we'll have to do our intake outtake from this. And then we'll have our actual steam box next to it. You know, I'm thinking about this. I could have moved this to here. And then have the steam turbine box right here. So I could make use of the dead space. That makes just too much sense. So... Let's actually do that. Oh, no. Yeah, there is a problem with that. Hmm. Oh! Just move this up. That's so much better. Dude, yeah, that's so much better. Now that I think about it, do that. And then we could actually do it like this. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. So steam turbines up here, reservoirs at the bottom, and then the uh, heat lines right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit of weird spacing is fine. All right, so how's the vacuum box coming along? Still in grams. You hate to see it. That lag, though. Milligrams, milligrams, milligrams. Micrograms by right here, though. Maybe? It's not fine, but it's okay. Yeah, man. Sometimes it's got to be temporary. It's all about the uh, little wins. All right, so we do have an extra oxygen line that we could and should tap into very soon. But I want to get this done first. So idea is going to be reservoir, reservoir here. One, two, three, four, five. So that goes in like this, which probably means that the steam turbine is going to be right here. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'll probably want to seal this up on the side and then we'll have I don't want a liquid lock though and I do want to do it like this the ceiling is going to be a little bit off so one two three four it's not large enough for a liquid lock should I make a liquid lock over there we probably could no real downside one two oh no but I can't go in from there so it'd be here one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. That can work. That's going to have to look like that, though. There's going to be a short segment where the run speed is not going to be optimized. <laughs> or we, we make it into a vacuum. Which doesn't actually matter what type of tile this is. As a result.
that makes so much sense. That I don't even need this. Oh, dude, that makes so much sense. Yeah. I will keep that one, though. We have to line that up right there. Okay. So we'll have to sweep this out. Let's think about the pipeline segments. So... Of course, we're going to have to have an Aqua Tuner. Aqua Tuner is going to be specifically for keeping the Steam Turbine cool. I actually don't need that. I could technically use this Aqua Tuner to achieve that same thing. It's only 39% uptime. Oh! Oh man, my ethanol is maxed out. Oh crap. We need to start pumping. <laughs> we need to start pumping the ethanol, man. About to run out of space. You know, I could probably extend this line to chill the uh, the loop right there. Hmm. Because I do want that to be a vacuum, right? Man, how do I want to do that? That's so weird. If if I did... Yeah, if I planned on doing that, I would have been better off having it somewhere else. I'll live with it, though. I'll live with it. Alright, so we're going to make a makeshift liquid lock here. Gotta do it, gotta do it. Liquid lock there is actually going to stay. One drop lock setups. Of course, we're going to have to sweep the insides. Dude, I, I, I should. That's honestly a lot better, I think. Alright, so that goes like that, most likely. And then this probably goes to the right. And then we have to somehow get into here. So most likely, the biggest thing it's going to be the loop. We could fill that up with a zigzag all day. This generates no heat. There's no heat transfer onto the setup as well, I believe. So I could actually have this all inside. And then, yeah, the only thing I need is a little bit of a small outlet. So I could just go something like that. Make the pipeline be a little bit uh, excessive. So I got to do the pipeline in here before I do the pipeline for the cooling loop. Okay, so let's look at this. The intake should always come out from the cool tank, which is this one. Right? Cool tank, that means... Well, it doesn't have to be there yet. It could come in from the bottom. And then... Uh, output needs to always go out to a hot tank, which could be this one. The hot tank holds everything, and then everything in the hot tank goes out into a temperature check. If the liquid is below a certain temperature, it goes into the cool tank. Hmm. But if it's not, it goes into the cooling loop. Couldn't I have both of these be the same temperature check? Meaning that I force the output to always go through the temperatures check right here. What are you building? I'm making a power positive uh, steel refinery. It's power positive, but that's like not going to be the main point. I'm basically going to make a uh, refinery setup that just works without me having to deal with the uh, heat, if that makes sense. So it's a better refinery setup where we run the contents inside into a steam turbine for power. That power is going to go into my power system. And then it's just going to allow us to cool down the contents and reuse it. So. Uh, if we have it go into here. Most likely it's going to have to be at least minimum that. But then this holds all of the hot liquid. Hot liquid gets pulled into a temperature check. Comes out. If it's cold enough, it leaves, goes into the system. 
This could go straight into here, which comes straight out. And then this has to bridge onto the loop. I probably use gold here instead of aluminum because I don't want it to be that effective. Because it's going to be a little bit too long for my liking. Okay, so... Clear thoughts. Think out. I need to think the process through. Okay, so... Hot contents. Let's argue it goes to the right tank. So, bam, bam. Comes out. Goes into the cooling loop. Comes back. Temperature check. Shut off setup. Uh, after that happens... We get the hot contents looping twice, which shouldn't happen. And then the cool contents go into here, which feeds out into here. This has to yield into the reloop setup. Otherwise, everything works. Now, is there an issue with me having this be the cool or hot tank if I swap the locations? Probably not. I'm thinking about it. There shouldn't be any problems, right? The only thing is that I could potentially not be as efficient, which I shouldn't care for. Right? So this should be the hot tank. This should be the cool tank. That goes in like that. And then uh, the issue with this is going to be... I need to go through. Well, I could go bottom up. And then we have a sensor shut off. Oh, the problem with that, though, is I want the temperature track to only re-loop if it's not hot enough. Not to save power, but positionally, that should be how that works. If I go in bottom. So it's sensor, sensor, shut off, go through. Oh, yeah, that does work. So it basically looks like this. That goes there, and then we have a thermal sensor track right above it. And then this should pipe in like that, where the cool stuff goes into here. And then the hot stuff goes back, and then this has to bridge on. Nice, that works. So here, here, here. So we got to go in backwards. Do I want this to be that long? See, that's a problem. If this is too long, I overcool the setup, which is not good. I might take away too much thermal energy, so I can't maintain the temperature that I want to do. So maybe we just have efficient pipe segments. So here, here, here. And then up here, so we have a gap right there. That should be fine. Which means this should just go like this. Go up, this goes to the left. This bridges on so that this yields to this line. This goes through. After this doesn't work, bypass. I don't need a bridge there. Should be fine. I could put one just in case, but I don't think it's necessary. So hot outputs go into here. We hold on to it goes into here goes into the loop comes out we do a temperature check if it's cool enough it goes back into this box if not it goes back into here i could automate most things but cooling the loops using a steam turbine still baffles me i can make a video for that that's something that i didn't want to make a video for because i thought it was very simple but at the same time you are not the first person to tell me that and when i did do cooling loops as an example a lot of people were astonished by it. So maybe I should make a video for that. Alright, so the automation is going to go like this. And then we're going to need power. So that's going to be the same power line as the meta refinery. Alright, so there and then there. How much power is on this line? 2170. People don't go inside here that often, though. So these suits aren't really that necessary. So 
So if this line is not on this, there's like no power on here. All right, let's finally replace this. And before I sabotage myself again, hydrogen and seal two. Sweet. Don't have to worry about the dupe sabotaging that anymore. And then I gotta mop this up. So the steam turbine is a little bit weird. It's not what you're doing for cooling loops because the aqua tuner is what does that. Instead, the steam turbine is what basically you have to pair with the aqua tuner so that you can have an easy time. All right, so we know that we're probably going to need radiant pipe here. I could bridge through, keep this a little bit cleaner looking, and then go like this. But then from here, I can't go anywhere else. I do have the VODs on YouTube. Go check it out. Follow along and play along with us. I have all of my playthroughs from, I think, the beginning of this year. So there's already a lot on there already. So it looks like I see where the first location of the cooling loop is going to be. Oh, that's wild. I could actually just pull this through the other way. Instead of going through here, that saves me a lot of pipes. Oh, yeah, I will 100% love to do that. Yeah, that would save me a lot of pipelines. So I could go like this. Wait, how do I want to do that? So where do I want to connect on to? Uh, so it's this here. I don't want to drip it to repot. That's, you know, wasteful. Oh, there's the bridge right here. Oh, that's so good. And I do want to yield, kind of. I guess we don't have to yield. So it goes like this. Yeah, so we could reroute that way, and that is coming in from an outtake output, so that means everything else gets cut. Oh, that's sweet. And then from here, I'll actually want to redo this. Actually, do I? Because we go into here, right? And that's going to be a separate line up top. Yeah, might as well, right? So let's get rid of this. Have this come up to here like so. And then eventually, this is going to come in from here. So this goes into the top, continues out there. This goes in this way. And then, because of how we have the uh, designs right here, I think temporarily we'll put it like so. And then that's going to connect like that. And then we just deconstruct the rest. Yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. A live action pixel, Mr. LEP. Thank you so much for the raid. I see you over there. What's going on, Mr. Live Action Pixel? Shoutouts to you. Oh, there's the other one too. Cheeky raid, I see you over there. What's going on, Mr. Live Action Pixel? As a Padawan, welcome on in. Hello, hello. Uh, Firelin, I see you over there. Mighty Stooge coming in with a cheeky raid. Welcome on in, you guys. You guys probably know me, too, Legit City. We do a lot of oxygen included as well. So does Mr. Live Action Pixel. But yo, how was the streams, dude? How was the colonies? You started a new save again today, Mr. Live Action Pixel? I see you over there, man. What were you working on? Light modded. Nice. Does that mean you're playing with lights out? <laughs> if you're doing the light mods, Kappa. I probably don't need anything here. Dupes are kind of bad. But yo, man, check out Mr. Live Action Pixel if you guys like the Oni content. It's a pretty cool guy. 
and uh, dude, check them out. Sometimes they'll do a little bit of uh, satis uh, not satis uh, Factorio every now and then. I've seen them do a little bit of Minecraft for the memes. But you, you, live action pixel, man. Oh man, I love playing a Lights Out solo, but it's so bad to watch for stream. It is, 100%. I agree with that. It's not bad in terms of like single player, but dude, for streaming, dude, it's tough. Is that a sleepy kitty? That is a sleepy kitty. That is my Mamba, my black cats. And he is napping right now. It's his nap time. He's going to wake up every now and then to try to, uh, you know, get his head rubs, do what the kitties do best. But welcome on in, Alice. I'll see you over there. What kind of mods are you using, though, Mr. Live Action Pixel? If you don't mind me asking. I gotta lock this up, and then I got to actually vacuum this. We'll make a simple setup for that. Power's already there. Shouldn't be too bad. Tell him I, <laughs> tell him I say, dude, man. That's that's a hundred percent internet meme, right? Why is why did that become a meme? Where where people start talking like that to cats when cats don't even respond to that? Maybe it's a regional thing, but Mamba does not respond to that. Interactive chat, bio links, hundred percent recommend. Uh, disease expanded, rocket expanded, AI rockets, a whole bunch of uh, visual stuff. Damn, I see you over there, Mister Live Action Pixel. Not messing around. Got the vacuum. Let's go. Hey, non Baron, coming in with the four months. Thanks so much. Welcome to the city. Welcome back to the city. Enjoy the emotes. D20 dice ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub patch. Welcome back, non Byron. Hope you're doing well. Pog. Pog, indeed. How are you, good sir? How are you doing? And of course, how is the week? Hope you're doing well. Oh, your cats respond to it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, mama's. I don't know. I feel like it's. it's uh. There's, there's a video that's kind of, I don't know, man. It's, I thought it was kind of funny. This guy basically talks to cats in different languages. And sees which language he responds to. And then he'll make a judgment call. Like, he'll say something in German. If he doesn't respond, he'll speak something in Spanish. And if the cat responds, oh, the cat's Spanish. That's why he understands. <laughs> I was like, what? Is that a thing? I was a little bit confused. I was like, you know what, man? Maybe it is. Definitely look up into BioInks. You can set it, take over your dupes creation, and it becomes a much wider range of stats. So it's a bit more chaotic fun. Oh, I see. I see. Might have to check that out. I'm still on the fence. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to get it eventually. On uh, Critter Renaming mods. <laughs> no, I'm going to get that mod eventually. 100%. The Chaos mod, A squared. Dude, the mod, too much chaos, man. Hope you are as well. We're doing our best. Taking it a day at a time. Just trying to do what we can. But yo, Mr. Live Action Pixel, thanks so much for the raid, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for bringing your community over to share with ours. It means a lot, man. Appreciate the support. That lag, though. When you have 100 dupes, it's a lot of lag. I like how they all wake up and just stand there for a couple seconds. Alright, so... The suit's here. All that's done. The bridges need to be removed. These are okay now. That's okay now. That's good. Not enough water's melting down. That's not bad. Like the vibes here. Gonna get a snack though, for sure. Get some snacks, man. Something that goes well with tea. Y'all know what it is. Hey, now he could stay. I see you over there. Alright, so this is all done. Yes, I can finally remove this. Saltwater slimes and Gram. Uh, the power here is no longer needed, but we do need it for the crab shack. Which probably means I don't need the second wheel. And then this means that we're out of water. I can remove the reservoir. This gets removed, and then we also have to remove the pipelines from this side, so everything here is going to be removed. 
And then we'll do the ladders afterwards. We gotta remove the pipes right now, anyways. Live snack... Snackshin pixel. I think I said that right. I might be, might have said it wrong. Alright, since we have suits going up top now, and this is blocked off, we could technically start going into space and start doing our bunker lines. So, once we get this set up, I'm gonna put some, uh... Hmm... There might be shovels outside, right? That is true. There might be shovels outside. Alright, so what I'll do here is put some obsidian tiles. And a pneumatic door. And we'll do it like that. And then we'll, we'll climb our way up. Just so that if we do have shovels, they don't cause any damage. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can't reach. Feels bad. And then that should mean this is free to, for us to mine out now. Nice. Get rid of the ladders. Ice biome's gonna have to go today. Uh, there's a lot of sleet wheat there I want to grab. I don't know what's the best course of action to break in through here. Oh, yeah, and this part needs to get trimmed out again. Let's start moving the ladders here. No airlock to prevent O2 leaving. I'll probably do this setup. Manual airlock after the pneumatic door. But I do want some of the hydrogen and unbreathable gases and the polluted oxygen to leak out. Just so that I don't have hydrogen like in the ambient gases. I want to have them trapped if anything. So like I do want to get rid of the hydrogen if possible. Oh, can they mine this? Oh, they can't. Let's build a ladder there for that. Maybe we do an airlock later. So here's the goal, Mighty Stoosh. We have a line right here of insulated tiles. Right? Everything above that line is going to be a vacuum eventually. So I do want to make this suit long term and extend it out. So that's going to be the reasoning why I do want to leak it out a little bit. I am going to eventually have to remove everything. Hydrogen extraction at top base level? Probably not. It's not worth it. I have way too much hydrogen. It's not worth the effort, I don't think. Water is dripping into here, which is fine. Alright, so... This is swept up. Let's make sure that's good. That's good. Okay. So I think we could seal this up now. I need to make sure dupes are not stranded on the bright side so that we could have access without suits. So this ladder way is not connected to anything else since we had locked it up with the door. And that's going to prevent the dupes from going out of the space without suits on. It reminds me of the crazy magma cleanup. <laughs> <laughs> the the flipped asteroid, the man of space. I mean, we have a lot more room below, though. That's the only difference. The man of space we actually have. It'd be like that, though, sometimes. Seal this up, and then we rebuild the ladders. It's gonna be a good time. Alright, so how is the chlorine? We are trying to heat up the chlorine as much as we can, so we could eventually grow a pinch of pepper nuts. The salt finds goes up to 50 degrees, but it's not even close to that yet. The girl, uh, the geyser is dormant. Oh, it's going to be active soon. 80 cycles. Let's go. We need that heat generation. We really do. All right. Seal that up so we don't get mixed water. Two more tiles. And then we'll break up into space as promised. All right. So how is our reservoir set up? All right. So we have the liquid lock. Let's get the juice. Vacuum everything out. Alright, so this power line is complete. Let's seal this up again. This is a vacuum still. Nice. Okay, so power. Uh, this line goes into the rust. I could swap the lines realistically, so it's not that bad. I can swap the lines. I can swap the lines. Okay. So let's take this line. Goes in like that. Goes in like so. 
that comes down from here. We're going to take this line and swap it with this line. Nothing else on there. This should be fine. We don't use the pump that often. Same thing with the sweeper setup. And the suits aren't going to be utilized. So that could be dedicated somewhat. And then we got to reverse the line for the steam turbine going back in. That's going to be fun. We're going to have to flip one of these and make a wire connect. It's probably going to have to go like parallel to everything else and connect to the bottom. I don't have space for that transformer flip though, so I might want to do it up top right here. There's so many wires to cross. <laughs> so many wires to cross. So I save one wire because I didn't use the aqua tuner. I'm taking the existing line. All right, so we cut this. We need to build this uh, pipeline, these two. And then it's going to flow that way. We need this to empty out. And then we're going to have to add probably this water line so that our aqua tuner here starts working. This is going to be a little bit more active, but it's fine. Ethanol is right there. I don't know how much more we have, so let's just reconnect the line again. And then we have these pipes. I always plan for a neat power grid. Does it happen? No, never. Neat power grid? Is this neat? I don't know if this is actually neat. Asking for a friend. Neat power lines, man. It's, it's kind of tough to actually get. Oh, and that's right. We have this right here. Nice. So we could start eating the oxygen. All right. This is to redo some of the things inside. All right. And then for now, let's just start sweeping some of the items in there. All right. So this is done, right? Sweet. Uh, let's deconstruct these pipes. The power here is no longer needed, actually. And then let's remove the desalinator, the pump, uh, batteries, the double wheels. Good stuff, good stuff. So this ladder does nothing. Uh, for now, let's just go like that. Neutronium geode? Oh my, they, that's a thing now? Robo jumper is is that a map modifier? Neutronium geode? That's insane. That's insane, dude. You can't mine through that. Oh, that that's gonna mess with people who like like the really symmetrical designs. <laughs> like, dude, look at me, dude. My base is all symmetrical. Meal hall, bedroom, showers, bathrooms. It's all symmetrical, dude. Dude, I'd be mad if that happened to me. Real talk. That's a restart. <laughs> yeah, man. That's a oof right there, man. Feels bad, Robo Jumper. All right, that's sealed up now. There's no way to go up into space, so let's rebuild the ladder. I probably have this go all the way up realistically now. Oops. So that we could just use this as a normal... Uh, Ladder shafts. Sandbox delete. Don't do it, man. Don't resist the urge to sandbox. You gotta resist the urge to sandbox sometimes. Auto save lag. And we're good. Nice. Alright, so back into here. We're still vacuuming, which is fine. Uh, no CO2 yet, which is okay as well. Power line is there. Alright, so we should be okay to do this now. Just do this, do that. This is at 3,000 watts, potentially. No one uses the suits. That's 480 watts off, so it's 2,500-ish. And then it's the pump. That's 22. And then it's that pump. That's 19. Or, well, 2020. So after this vacuums, we will not overload ever. Or shouldn't overload. Alright, I hope this pumps up faster, man. <laughs> so we have the vacuum. 
That's the first step. And then the next thing we need to do is get the line in. Oh, yeah. So we need to do this. This, that, uh, this, that. And then I go like this, like that. This goes through. This comes from here, here. I guess we could go like that. And that goes like that. And then from here, we need to add this liquid into the line. So we got to do this. Because we have to fill up the loop. And then this line is no longer needed. So I could get rid of this. Get rid of that. Theoretically, we should just get rid of that. And then we're just adding water into the line right now for the aqua tuner to work. I could also just cut this line so this empties out a little bit faster. Reverse the flow, go out this way. All right, so we still need to fill out a bunch of empty lines here, bottom as well. So that should be good that we're having the uh, polluted water basically kind of compete for the spots. Yeah, this is emptying out as well. That's a good sign. Not using too much of the water. How much cool slush do we have? Seven tons, not a lot. It's all right, though. Sweep that, might as well. All right, empty space still. Some of the water is uh, fighting to leave. Basically need the water in the back to catch up. And then everything else in between should be filled. Some of the small water bubbles does need to be pushed together. Oh, what a travesty. There's a piece of debris inside the steam box. Oh, man. I'm actually kind of pissed. <laughs> I actually want to go in and clean that up, man. Oh, dude. What a travesty, boys. You hate to see that kind of thing. You got to restart. I know, right? <laughs> got to restart, man. That's a reset right there. What? We could fix that, though. We could actually fix that. So it shouldn't be too bad. All right, we're forcing some of the bubbles to f the merge. But I'm waiting for some water to come out. So let's cut it here. So it pulls it backwards. All right, so it does seem somewhat balanced now. We just need some more water to come out now. I think for the uh, ease of use, we're just going to reverse flow it like that. So this starts moving, this starts moving. And then I'll have a one bubble setup. One bubble, sweet. This gets disconnected, and then this flows out again normally. So now we have a cooling loop, sweet. We just have to maintain temperature now. Not bad, not bad. Hello, what's going on, Nixus? How are you? Why so many pipes? Yo, man. We have a lot of dupes, so... We got to have a lot of pipes because we need to make a lot of water into oxygen. Have you seen the pipes in my game, dude? Got a lot of them. A lot of oxygen. A lot of uh, water movement. A lot of power lines. Sometimes it's the name of the game as well. Is there a specific spot you're eyeing, though, with the water pipes? Oh. This is uh, above 190, that's fine. Doing fine. Didn't get any work done today, so that sucks. Doing good otherwise, that work stuff feels bad, man. I feel bad, though. Sometimes you don't have enough uh, juice in the tank for the productivity, man. It's tough. It's tough. It's 
Sometimes you're just hoping to get some more work done. Sometimes you don't achieve that. It's a little bit, uh, you know, makes you feel bad about it. But don't worry, man. Tomorrow's going to be a new day. Hopefully you'll be able to catch up. So I was watching a video the other day, yesterday, about uh, why do we procrastinate? And then one of the things people talk about is that if you procrastinate, you're lazy. And what they found was is that it's not actually a case of being lazy or not. It's, it's more so that it's like a mental thing. That laziness isn't actually one of the attributes for that. It's more so having to do with like... How do I say it? It's, it's hard to put into words, but it was like... A, they were talking about how it's important and you know it is and it's not that you're lazy it's just that it's, it's stressful so it's it's tough to do because of that and it kind of ties into the fight or flight response you guys know about that where if you guys are put into a weird situation adrenaline kicks in you either fight or you run away right and in that case we procrastinate sometimes because we're running away not because we don't want to do it, but because it's a stressful thing to do. Potentially. Not always, though. But yeah, it's crazy. Have to write to an, a letter to another company, so it's stressful. Oh, yeah. If it has to do with stress, it happens sometimes. Avoidance behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, 3AD? I want to see you over there. Hope you're well. All right, so can I reroute the wires to make it look a little bit better? I cut this line and this line so that I could do this line, that line. I go like this to like that. So I cut this and that. I do this. So this, this, that, that's gone. I do this, so this, 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 this is gone. And then we just have wires here that don't need to be there. Mm. At the same time, it looks clean. Otherwise. All right, so we just have wires that are not connected right there. feels bad. Save a little bit of the wire shenanigans, though. We doing all right? Doing all right? It's like me avoiding the steam turbine lol. Too stressful. I mean, it's not like they explode or anything. <laughs> yeah, I feel you with that. It's, it's it's in the back of your mind that you just don't want to deal with it. I get that. I get that. It's tough sometimes. All right. Did we finish the top? Can we go into space? Oh, there's meteor showers. Okay, maybe we want to chill out with the space for right now. Maybe we don't want to go out to space yet because there's meteor showers going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Having to deconstruct the floor to put pipes is annoying. No, you don't have to. You don't have to deconstruct the floor to put pipes. It's only if it's natural tiles. Regular tiles, you build pipes in it all the time. And that's actually, like, uh, you know, normal. Shouldn't be any problems with that. Space is tasty because it's a meteor. Dude, man, meteors are not the business. Why'd you leave the pipes? Oh, they're not. There are wires right here. So the thing with that is I could redo that, but after I redo this line, there's nothing else to redo. So it doesn't really matter. Unless you're talking about other pipes. It's used to coming in with the puns, man. Yep, those ones. Yeah, it's fine. I could remove them. I could leave them there. It's probably not necessary. I just don't want my dupes working on that. I want them working on something else. This is kind of like a very low priority task. So I didn't really need to put that there. Like, I don't want them to work on that for no reason. We could, though. But it should be fine. Right. This is the name of the game. Space. But they should have suits for that. 
No, you do not have to remove the, uh, the floors for the dupes. I mean, for the wires, no. I can remove them. It's not going to remove the floors. It's fine. Your dupes work. Mine are all slackers. Uh, so if your dupes are slackers, it usually means that you're giving them too many jobs. Or you don't have a good priority system. 100%. Uh, dupes will do whatever they can to work if their schedule allows it. And if you're having dupes that don't work, you're probably overloading your dupes with too many jobs. One of the things when you're playing this game is you actually go out of your way to try to make it so that your dupes are never idle. If you give them so many jobs that you never have idle dupes, you're never going to have a chance to give them any new jobs in that same regard because of that fact. Because if your dupes are working, your dupes can't work on the new jobs you assign to them unless it's a higher priority. So it becomes a thing where you have to learn how to balance out when to give your dupes tasks, when to do what to do. 100%. That's, that's a big thing that a lot of new players or players that play the game a lot don't really think about. That's something you have to do. I always run a two few dupes, rarely print more than 20. Yeah, that's another thing. People are afraid to take on more dupes because that means you have to provide more of the other things. Whether it's oxygen, food, amenities, bedrooms, more bathrooms, whatever, right? And the problem with that is, is they'll play like they'll have 50 dupes. That's, that's another thing to kind of ballpark. How much tasks you give, when to give them more tasks, things like that. It's tough, man. It's one of those things that no one really talks about. And it's hard to really understand until you get the... Uh, the thought process of, oh, let me try this out. Let me actually only give them... Yeah, that was going to overload. Like, like, what if I make it so that they only get new tasks when we get idols popping up? It's tough. That means if you have idol dupes, you could easily do what you want. I basically give my dupes tasks to do. And when the idol dupes pop up, I give them new tasks. That's basically what I try to do. So that that way I know that someone is waiting to do the new job I'm asking them to do. Breathes very heavily, oxygen included. Hey man, someone new. If you want to breathe heavily, that's perfectly fine. We have a lot of oxygen. Now, see, it makes sense, right? Because it means that dupes are waiting for new jobs. And that means the old task should be completed. As well as the daily task. Like, you know, if you have dupes ranching having to brush the shovels, having to pick up the food and deliver it, right? That means there's nothing they already need to do, and they're already ready. I did one dupe challenge my last game. It was kind of interesting. It was slow, though, wasn't it? Get lucky? I would imagine. That's another one of those playthroughs where playing by yourself wouldn't be bad, but if you're streaming it, dude, that's way slow. I was watching one dupe challenge once. It was not too fun to watch. Yeah, it's not. Nothing happens. You just follow the dupe. You have to wait for them to research. You have to wait for them to do everything. And it kind of just feels like nothing's happening. Real talk. Yeah, you would leave Oni running for two hours and the dupe would do stuff. <laughs> he would literally just research for a couple hours sitting there. But what is he doing? Oh, he's researching. What are you doing then? You're, I'm watching him research. <laughs> like, man, that's it? Man, this game's kind of boring. <laughs> it sounds like that would be like typical conversation you would have. Who's going to save him when he gets stuck in a stupid position? He's, he's got to rely on Sweepy. The only other entity that he could create that potentially can save him, and he won't. Sweepy and his doc. He's not a fan of dupes getting stuck because he has no legs. So he can't climb up and down the ladder. And he just got to try to do his best. Best he can. You must have survival strategies. Yeah, man. You got to you gotta do things a little bit differently. What you can't do with one dupe is literally go, yeah, I'm going to strip mine this. Let me just, let me just do that. <laughs> you can't do that with one dupe. <laughs> Eventually, he's going to get stuck. And you're like, oh, man, I got to reset. Huge rip, dude. That's basically like you have to play differently. 100%. You have to play differently. You can't just, you know, no-brainer, strip mine everything anymore. Hate to see it. But he's programmed to feel bad about it. Oh, feels bad. 
All right, so this mine down. Oh, oh, I thought he was drowning. Oh, he is drowning. Hey, man, what are you doing? You could go on top of the oil, dude. Come on, man. This guy is just drowning on purpose. You need to see that kind of thing happen, yo. Oh, it's in it's in his bio. <laughs> It was bad, man. Can we name Sweepy Lieutenant Dan? Because he has no legs. <laughs> that's, that's, dude, I need to get Sweepy and just name him Lieutenant Dan. Just walks around. I gotta make a custom speech bubble every time they walk by. Instead of the talking to each other, he goes, You got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. That would be so good, dude. <laughs> that would be so funny. Or would that be messed up, man? Doesn't have a facepalm emote? Aw, oh, man. Are you even on Twitch? <laughs> Do you even Twitch, yo? Why not both? I know, right? Probably should. Alright, so we gotta mop up the saltwater spill. Uh, this is all good. I probably should start sweeping this area. It's going to be a pain because we're going to have to sweep later. This pushes items up. Shouldn't be too bad. So everything down here needs to be swept. I have one of those somewhere. I know, right? Or do you try to get a uh, new facepalm emote and then mom says you have one at home? And you're like, all right, I won't get this new one. Dude, Amari looks like a stud. Exosuit training, dude. Suit wearing specialty. He's a doctor. Green thumb doesn't dig. Decorator, I'm taking Amari, dude. I need to update my followers. Took a year off. Oh damn, yeah, man. Hopefully, the people you follow still make content. But if they don't, man, clean that up. Got to clean up the follows list. Shocked villager. A hey, follow this guy. He's too legit. A hey, yes, you over the mighty stooge. Nothing wrong with being too legit. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, so we do need to do this part. And how wide is this? This is 16 tiles. Alright, we're going to make a new crab shack. We got to make a new crab shack, you guys. So how do I want to do this? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here to here is nine tiles. So we'll do it like that. And then probably want a bottle emptier here. Let's make the double ladder setup. The Poke Shells cannot use the ladder. And then this space doesn't matter as well. Because although it should be spaced out like that, it shouldn't really matter. And then we do a setup here. So since we have the two space gap, this is going to be offset to a four. We have more space in between. Shouldn't be a big deal. And then we got to do the setup here. Uh, let's drop them off in the back. So let's do a double door setup. This is going to be like this. Into that with the single door setup here. Oh, wait, I have to do a modified version for the shoot. So it's going to look like this. And then, critter drop off. I mean, that's a shoot. This is a critter drop off. And then we'll need a double critter sensor setup. All right, so this is always gonna be locked. Easy does it, easy does it. And then we'll set this up afterwards. This is base game, this is true. We do gotta go to space today though, that reminds me. Is the meteor shower over, you guys? A little bit scared. A little bit scared. It looks good. So, let's go up. Alright, so... Because of how the regolith falls down, I don't want my dupes getting wrecked. So... I will mine this. And then we will mine this part. So we're going to swap the ladder. It's going to go up, and then we're going to move to the left. And then they could climb up here, and then we'll just climb all the way up, and we'll have to ladder through everything. Shouldn't be too bad. 
base game, 100 dupes, all achievements. Yep, yep. That's the name of the game. All right, so we got to build everything. Ladders there, automations there. It's fine. Got to wait for everything to be built. This is probably going to get relocated. It's not going to be too bad. Oh, man, dealing with bunkers has been forever. It has. We got to get started with the bunker tile setup, though. And it's finally a vacuum. Let's wait for the autosave lag. I don't want to pliers my entire map like the beginning of the stream. I had a bad time dealing with the puzzles. Autosave lag. I'm so glad I've never had the displeasure. Dude. <laughs> it's not a fun time, man. It's really not. High pressure gas vents. Let's remove the power. All right, so we could add water here manually when we want. I just want to clean up the uh, items inside. So these are no longer needed. This is a vacuum. Sweet. So the top doesn't really matter yet. Cool it there. We're going to want to vacuum that out eventually. So let's get the uh, crude oil in here. Sweep only. Copy, paste. Priority nine. All right. Didn't I have a bottle of oil here? I did sweep that. Just go up to here. Let me close up the bottom, though. Wait. Oh, there's no oil drop. That's fine. You know you're an OG when bunker doors. Hey, dude, that's yeah, that's 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 trivial right there, man. Are you an Oni player? Yes. Do you know what bunker doors are? No. <laughs> that you've never really played the original uh, Oni, huh? Feels bad. That's easy way to gatekeep right there. Not gonna lie. This guy doesn't even know what bunker doors are. Do you even own any, bro? Space being hot, too. That's another thing. Space is funny. No, no, no. You have to get the base game, and then you get the DLC on top of that. But you could get the DLC, because it's like... the I want to say the original school of thought with games is you have to have the game, and then when you have the DLC, you have the latest version of the game. Right? So you have to get the base game in order to get the DLC. Now, nothing wrong with that. It's just that... Uh, I gotta build this tile there. Type is fine. It's just that uh, usually you want to get the latest DLC because a lot of the times DLCs, I want to say, didn't really used to be optional. They are in most cases now, but DLCs are typically looked at before back in the day. As kind of like an expansion pack. Yeah, you can buy the DLC and, de and then deactivate it now, though. Ah, uh, doesn't want to spill over? Come on. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we got the setup. Alright, so now we got a vacuum out here. This is going to make the Aqua Tuner not as uh, bad. Uh, I have power everywhere. I'm just going to hamster wheel this because I'm lazy. Okay, and then we just need to do a power line from here back into the system. Right now, we don't have to do this. I could just have it tied to a battery. It's really not going to matter. Uh, once we do this, we'll put a bottle of water on the ground. I made a steel pump for no reason. Oh, man. I'm baller, dude. Wasting steel. Okay, another thing we need to do is fill this up with oil. So, I think we're just going to do a simple setup like this. Because I have to fill up one reservoir with oil. So we'll just have a uh, simple setup like that. Dude, I'm using steel for no reason. That's how you know you're a baller. At least you wasted steel on steel production. Hey, man. Steel production is the name of the game. So what we're going to want to do today is we're going to figure out how much space, because I don't think it's going to be like flat here. We're going to have to have a vacuum wall in between. I probably don't need it to be that large, though, realistically. Make it kind of small. Oxygen not included is the name of the game. I see you over there, Ellie. I see you over there. 
You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. All right, so we got to do the ladders. Once we do that, we'll set up our first set of bunker doors. How many can I build right now? I could build 28 bunker doors, which is not bad, but which is also probably not enough. Uglar Visk, what is good? I see you over there. How you doing, sir? Happy Thursdays. And hope you're well. Hope you're having a good one. Oh, this is going to need power. Yeah, we'll just pull it from here. All right, so once this is built, this is just going to be crude oil. All of it. Auto bottle. A daily smiles. Can we get some happy faces in chat? Uglar Vis with the daily smiles. People in chat, are you guys feeling good today? You guys want to smile? Smile in chat for us, man. Share the good vibes. Share the good days. And hope everyone's having a good one, man. All right, now that we have this set up, I did forget I was supposed to fix this. Remove the pipes. The bridge is no longer needed. Should be not too bad. Creeper face. I see you over there, Ellie. Feels bad. Carl Sagan with a smile. I see you, Mighty Sush. Thank you for the smiles, you guys, in chat. Appreciate you guys. Hey, the Mamba Happies. That works, too. That works, too. Creepers are smiling right until they blow you up. Then how come... So is that not an upside-down smile, a.k.a. a frown? That's literally just a goatee. Is that what you're telling me? Creepers have facial hair? Is that what you're trying to tell me, man? Oni's on sale on Steam. You make me pull the trigger. Hey, yo, man, if you need help, why are you um? Let me know. I got you, man. If you need help with the game. But I will suggest having fun on your own, playing the game the way you want to play, before you look at any of the like videos for help or anything like that. That way you'll get the full dopamine release when you do actually get the, uh, the things. In. Say goodbye to your free time. Yeah, man. Good news is Thanksgiving's coming up. Maybe you get some days off. <laughs> Stefan joining the colony. Stefan, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. Let me know if you want a specific dupe, which one you would like to have. We have a lot of variety. I watch you too much already, if that's the case. <laughs> no such thing, man. You got to support the stream. Watch the VODs. Watch the YouTube VODs. I get that sweet, sweet ad revenue. Support your boy me by just watching the videos, man. Smash that like button. Yeah, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Y'all know what it is. All right. So we're getting up in space right now. Get in the ladders. I'll probably try to fix the broken ladders, too. Finally remove them. This is getting swept up pretty nice. Crab Shack's ready. Okay. So this is going to be all the Pokeshell variants. Pokeshell. Pokeshell spawn. Sandy shell, sandy shell spawn. Uh, where's the oak shells? I missed them. Right here. And that should be good. Priority nine. Now we gotta set up this side for the uh, critters. Hmm. I mean, I guess we're not gonna get hurt, right? Just move this outside. Like, the sandy shells aren't going to beat us up. I'll take the oldest one. Alright, what's the name, Stefan? Let me know. Okay, speaking of not having time, time to get off the PC and spend some quality time with the parrots. Later all, go look, have fun. Polly wants a cracker. Make sure to feed them, yo. And yo, we'll see you next time, Ellie. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a nice weekend if we don't see you tomorrow. And a hat, please. Gotcha, gotcha. Is there an outfit you would like, man? And a name, please. Or we're just going to name it Stefan. Dude with hat is the name. Oh, what a name. What a name, dude. Dude with hat. Quinn. It's going to be you. Dude with hats. All right, skills. Alphabetically, letter D. Dude with hat is going to get a fedora. No, that's a safari hat. 
Let's give him the fedora. Spaced out becomes more expensive than the uh, base game with the discounts. Wait, wait, wait. But you have to have the base game in order to play Spaced Out, though. You can't just have one. You gotta have both for the DLC one. Bought the bundle, sweet, sweet. Dude, man, Oni's a great time. It really is. But let me know, man, if you have any uh, problems you run into. Huh. Oh, like, what the sale right now is more expensive is what you're saying, right? Guys, we're getting a meteor shower. Who's outside? We got Susumu and Big Cthulhu. Hopefully they don't get hit by a meteor strike. Gotta make sure they survive out there. Thanks, happy to be in the base mob, but Asteroid, we got you in, Stefan, I see you over there. We gotta reach to the top, and then we gotta do some calculations for rocket size. Does that kill them? No, it hurts them. Doesn't actually kill them, but for them to get hit by a meteor, it has to be directly hit. So when the meteor hits the regolith, there's a small explosion. They could actually walk by that and not get hurt. But if they get hit by a meteorite directly, they take as much damage as getting hit by a uh, Poke Shell. It's not a lot of damage. <laughs> the meteorites are actually uh, not that strong, believe it or not. Alright, so we gotta remove this now. Uh, remove the ladders here. And then we gotta put the airflow right here now. Well, uh, remind me in a year or so, the way I played my game, I'll probably be another year until I touch this Oni. Yo, man, feels bad. It's going to sit away in his uh, Steam library, the uh, dreaded place. I imagine uh, his Steam library is like that scene from Toy Story, where Buzz Lightyear goes to the arcade with Woody. And then he goes into the uh, vending machine. And he's like, oh, the claw chooses me. <laughs> That's going to be the game he plays for a while. That's what it feels like, man. When you buy a game and you already have games you play. He chooses me. Nice. I'm free now. All the dupes taking care of business. All right. So we should have enough suits. We are making pro okay meteorites splash you see that aoe damage it's not that bad does not really hurt the dupes that much but we gotta set this up today gotta wait for the dupes to get the business uh i guess we could work on this now automation and that mine that out and then we could remove this because we need to and then we'll remove everything else CO2 is going to drop, which is fine. We have to sweep this to clear it out from the hatches. Let's start setting up the automation setup. So there's probably going to be a sweeper here. Got to copy the design. And then it goes in to this side. Okay, so I have to go through that. And then I probably have to reroute this line down the middle or something. Got to redo the hatch ranch. Oh yeah, this side is cleaned up, right? So I could sweep up the insides. Yes. Doesn't have to go in anymore. And then the thing we want to do is after we sweep, I want to seal this up. And then we just have to move all the natural gas up top out. Because we're just going to close up the box. We're not going to have to go inside anymore. Play's not too bad. The bad game still got update just a few weeks ago. Just have a look at the large game companies. Gives you tons of tons of DLCs. Honestly, Dead Bifa, I don't expect the other companies to the same standard. Base the bad the base game. I don't hold the other companies to the same standard that I hold Clay to. Because I don't consider them real studios. If that makes sense. They're they're a business. They're not a studio. 
major difference is their goals. A company's profits, I mean, a company's goal is profits versus a studio's goal is to make a good game. Very different, very different in my opinion. And I hold them to different, you know, uh, different standards because you should expect a company to try to rip you off, <laughs> right? You should expect that to happen. And it's like, if you understand that's going to be normal, it's not as bad. That makes sense. Uh, I do want to remove this ladder as well. I might want to keep the ladders because we have them everywhere else. Also might want to remove them eventually. The reduced pathing. They have a lot of DLC for Don't Starve, though. So here's the thing with that, Zip Zip. Don't Starve Together. Oh, my man. Oh, no, he's not stuck. Don't Starve Together has no DLCs, I believe. Meaning that uh, if you just get Don't Starve Together, you're fine. Since that game doesn't have DLCs, I, I believe that's how that works. It's uh, not as bad. And then if you look at the model now for Don't Starve, they're having a lot of free updates and stuff like that. But those large game companies, there are lots of uh, DLCs. Yes, 100%. Look at Paradox. It's normal for their games in Paradox Studios to have two to $300 worth of DLCs. That's normal and that's expected. You know what I'm saying, man? Like, that's really gross in the grand scheme of things. Like, my God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, man, that's that's a lot of DLCs right there. Nobody wants that. But hey, they have it, man. Yeah, you look at The Sims. I remember when the original Sims games, if you buy it, it's never on sale. They never have it on, uh, they never have DLCs on sale through the expansion packs, things like that. Oh, I have a place to dump my water now. Ooh, that's a great feeling. Let's turn this off. Alright, do we have tanks with just water? Yeah, this one's four tons. This one is not bad. Four tons with brine. That's two of them, three of them. That's probably enough. Two layers of water, 18 tiles. That's why Sims 4 is free now. Oh, it is? Can I get a refund? I paid for that full price, man, back in the day. <laughs> Can I get a refund, man? I don't even play The Sims anymore that much. Alright, so how is this? This is the vacuum sweep. So let's get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Remove that. These two. Batteries removed. Nice, nice. Oh, I never added power to this. I was like, how come this is not inside? Alright, so we need to do this so that we could add liquid into the system. And then I need to cut this line so that it doesn't leave the system. If only. <laughs> if only. Alright, so in here, I could technically seal this up now and then remove the setup. Yeah, I got the two-week deadline. Have you guys seen the... the uh, there's people out there that they, they do a, a challenge mode speedrun. Have you guys seen it? They will buy a game and then they will speedrun it in two hours and then return it. <laughs> and it's gotten to the point where you don't even speed run it. You try to get every achievement possible. And then you return it. Have you guys seen that, man? It's pretty insane. You get like people who are like, Man, I'm gonna buy this game, do all the achievements, and then return it in two hours. <laughs> and it's, it's funny, man. Because some of them succeed and it's kind of like, Nah. <laughs> and it's like, at that point, the only people you could blame is the devs. Because it's like, they make the game beatable, where you could do all achievements in two hours. Like, is that really a game at that point? It is too crazy to do this kind of speedrun. It depends on the game. Some of them, it's not possible. Just because of, like, how much time you have to put in for that to work. 
All right, I think I don't have to do anything else anymore, right? So the only other thing is if the power line needs to go through here, which is probably not going to happen. So let's seal this up. I've seen that, but those are like throwaway accounts. They practice on their main. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Of course. They'll, they'll, they'll make a fake account, second account, whatever. Just do that setup. Just to do that setup. I can't imagine like the normal player doing that. That's a little bit too insane. Imagine some random dude's like, yeah, man, I'm going to speed run uh, <laughs> this game. Never played it before. Yeah, the content they produce, yeah. But it's like, they, they have to do that, though, to make the stakes higher. If that makes sense. Like, oh, speedrunning, you're just speedrunning for a leaderboard. It's like, no, man, if I don't make the time, I have to pay up. Right? Like, they're just trying to make it a little bit, like, higher stakes. I imagine. Alright, so my dupes are all sweeping out that side still, which is fine. A lot of the water dump setups... Let's move some of the reservoirs back. And how's my ladder? Speedrun Dark Souls two hours? I could see that happening. What's what's Dark Souls actual time? What's the, what's the actual time for the uh, top score in the leaderboards right now? All right, sweet, sweet. All right, so we can't build ladders up here. So this is going to be our lair for uh, bunker walls. So it's going to be here, right? So have to cancel that. We're going to preemptively put one here. Probably two. So that we don't get hit from a diagonal. I don't want uh, meteorites filling this up and we have like a stuck dupe outside. And then once I do that, I want to remove these ladders. With the logic being that I don't want the broken ladders here anymore. <laughs> My last broken ladder is all the way over there. Okay. So we're going to try to remove these broken ladders so that we don't have the notifications. And then after this, I need to do a weird set like that. Actually, am I centered or am I offset? Basically, I have to align to one side. I think we're going to align to the right side. So that we could line up the edge of the map and then we line up the bunker walls so that it lines up to the edge. So that we'll replace these later on. But I need this here to protect us. All right, so we're going to go to the right, and then we'll start setting up our bunker walls that way. All right, that being said, our meta refinery, adding in the oil, fill this up to five tons. That's going to be the goal. And then we need to get water into here. That's going to come in through this loop. So that's going to mean we're going to need that, which is fine. Uh, we have pathing to this, so it's not too bad. So... Polluted water is just going to off-gas, so that's not going to be optional. I could take this existing water line and just dump it in. A long pipeline segment that we have to add. Oh, that does make it pretty convenient, though, because I could use the uh, valve meter. Yes, got to have the uh, new strats. All right, so this is kind of quick and dirty. We will take the output. One tank's output of water. And then we'll just go in like that. And then we'll just add in a fixed amount. Should be not too bad. Alright, cool, cool. Alright, this is no longer overloading or getting close. Which is sweet. Don't have to worry about that anymore. And then our, our dirt's going down. Holy sh... That's not good. I might have too much meal lice. Alright. Yeah, we probably have too much meal lice. We'll have to bop a row. We'll have to bop a row. The dirt generation's going down. I don't have enough meal lice to keep that going. Alright, so how's down here? 40, 60 degrees, so it's the oil, huh? So we could mine that, mine that, go it from the bottom, trim that, make the jump, trim that, mine this out. There's a guy who did it blindfolded. See, here's the thing. Blindfolded runs, in theory, is really cool in concept. But I'm not going to lie, man. 
I don't trust it. <laughs> is it weird? I don't trust it. And like, there's there's a part of me that's like, man, he can see. He can see through the blindfolds, man. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Like, I, I don't believe. I'm not like. Not that I'm a hater or anything like that. It's like it's it's like, dude, that's tough, dude. Audio cue only. Like, here's the thing. Why do they have to face the game and the TV if they're blindfolded? Honestly, that's the one thing I, I, I've always been not a fan of. Why, if they're blindfolded, why do they still look at the screen? Why can't they just turn around and have headphones on? That's the thing that I, I'm not a fan of. It just seems just so suspect, man. Why can't they just, you know, make it so that, oh, yeah, you're blindfolded. Why why do you still have to face the actual screen, though, if that's the case? That never made sense, in my opinion. That's one of those things. I removed the dirt. Hopefully, it's a little bit better. This is staying cool, which is pretty good. Ethanol is all right. All right, that's still flowing out, so we're good. So do we have ethanol just in the wild now? We probably still have some bottled up. I don't think they face the screen, but not 100% certain. I, I mean, a lot of the times, the streamers that do it, they, they face the same direction, right? So it's like you still see the same angle of their face. Unless they actually physically turn around. You see the back of their head, right? How many channel points for a Neuro Vacillator? That's on request. That is going to be on request. So if you want it, Matt, let me know. I think I have one available right now. Good question, I'm guessing. He has a mic set up and such. Maybe, yeah. Boom arm stuff like that. That's true. Facing the camera, not necessarily the screen. The Mario 64 guy, you could tell they couldn't see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's like that. Yeah, it's true. You want Lord Rawl to take it. Okay, so where was the open vacillator? It might be floating in the sky somewhere. That one's used up. Oh, right here. Was there another one? That one's used up. I haven't got the recharge yet. We'll get that eventually. So we have the one at the bottom and nothing else, right? In terms of the vacillators. Yeah, okay, cool. So we got to get to this one. Which means we got to ladder out. Go, let's go. Ice bio, make him a beefcake, hopefully. You got to hope he becomes a beefcake, man. All right, so build operating farming. Loud sleeper feels bad. This guy farts. This guy's a knee make. This is... It's, we're taking Travato. This is like the lesser of the three evils. We'll take that. All right, so we'll set up the ladders for that. Hopefully we'll get there soon. They're building the top soon. Oh, they can't go through this. Oh, that tile right there, okay. Now that I know you can make snazzy suits, I feel cheated when they show up in the pod. <laughs> no, man, dude. Yo, man, 200 dude count my, my PC can't set up, dude. We have to do a uh, sub goal for that, Mighty Stoosh. We have to have a two PC setup, bare minimum. And then I will, con you know, contemplate actually doing that. Zan, is your name a sword of truth reference? I believe it is. I made 15 last night and I decked out my dupes. Nice. Oh, man. Running to core, dude. Everywhere. All right, so this is power. And then we have how many tiles here? This is going to be 20 tiles. Let's do a little bit of math. So we got to do this. And then I got to crank out this line. Cancel that. So we just get water from there. Water is going to be here. Let's connect this. Now let's look at how much water we want added. So max is 500 kilograms. 500 divided by 20 or yeah, 20 tiles is 25 kilograms per tile, which is actually great. I'll just do a max value. And then hit the reset. 
So we're just going to release 500 kilograms of liquid and then it's going to go backwards. Not bad, not bad. All right, get the fixed amount of water. Oil is almost done. And then we'll have a perfect refinery setup. There is one thing I want to add in with the radium piping here, which shouldn't be too bad because we still have the polluted water just right there. I have a first print of Wizard's first rule. I see you guys over there. I wish I knew what that was. That I bought in 97. Were you also riding in a 6-4? Seal that up. Should be fine. I read the first five in originals owned by a friend. Interesting. One is a Sword of Truth series. Ah. That's what that is. We'll have to sweep this eventually. I'll keep this open though, because we have to do some things in here. That's probably not needed. And then let's do the design. It's probably going to be tile door. And then double door setup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gimmick is every book has a wizard to rule. Interesting. I saw Legend of the Secret TV show. What is that? I gave in and restarted. <laughs> you, dude, Robo Jumper, you actually restarted because of the Neutronium uh, Boulder, dude. It feels bad. I restarted with a seed without geodes. This seed now has a cool salt slush. Geyser 50 tiles of the printing pod. Dude, that's convenient, man. Cold water source right there. That's pretty sweet. Looks like it was a good thing you restarted, man. Books, uh, Book 3's rule is Passion Rules Reason. Ooh. Yep, great series, but we don't talk about the pillars of creation. Yuck, only thing good about that show was the well, was the lady. Ah, nice restart. I see you guys over there. It's a good restart sometimes, man. Alright, sweep this, and then I need to have smooth hatches. We need to do that for an achievement. So, these guys, we'll just keep feeding them granite. Smooth hatch chance is actually really low. Okay, maybe we'll do a specific setup for that. Where we do uh, regular hatches, eating sand, uh, stone hatches with the chance of getting smooth babies, and then the smooth babies eating the metal. So I'll probably have to feed them uh, iron, right? That's what I have the most of. 700 tons, Jesus Christ. What's the first rule? Uh, we don't talk about the rules. I'm, I'm thinking it's like a Fight Club reference. <laughs> I don't know. The first rule of the Wizards is you don't talk about the rules. I probably don't mind. I don't know about other people in chat, though. I don't mind because I don't think I'm going to be reading that. We don't talk about the Wizard Club. Exactly. <laughs> that's a meme, but I don't know if that's actually going to be the case. Oh, we have a free purple polyester. All right, let's pass this out. Roll the two. It's gonna be Abe. It's gonna be Ada. Oh wow. I only have one Abe. Now oh, that I had two. Alright, Ada's gonna get a purple polyester. Not bad. Alright, so we did this with the suits. Uh I need to deconstruct these two tiles now. It's gonna fall down, we have to sweep that, which is why we gotta do this. And then I do wanna do this here to replace the regular pipeline. interesting i see a xandroff so if you say you're the best wizard of all time it's a lie something like that i don't know i have to fix this setup afterwards too all right how is my ladders up top they're working on it working on it it's taking forever 
but they're fine. They're fine. And I think the oil is filled up by now. Almost. Almost at five tons. And then we should have enough water here. 100 kilograms per tile. Yep. That's going to be 25 tiles of steam or 25 kilograms of steam per tile. So that means I could just deconstruct the meter valve now. Because this actually doesn't hold water and then the water just goes backwards. And then we will remove the remainder of the pipelines and then we'll sweep everything out. This is sealed, so we can remove these tiles now. Let's deconstruct buildings. And then the oil spills, it spills. I don't really care for that. It'll have to spill out to the right as well. Which is going to be fine. Now we're going to right. This is still vacuuming. That takes forever. Water's still being dumped into here. Beeper is still sweeping. Almost done, though. Suit's coming out. Oh, they repaired the ladder. Oh, no, that was always repaired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's mine this out. And then we'll go through here. And then theoretically, we'll mine this out. There is a ladder here that's broken. I want to fix. <laughs> Feels bad. We got to mine through all of this in order to uh, get through. And then I need to basically just deconstruct this. Hopefully, the dudes are able to do all this. Back to here. This gets removed. I need to remove this from mining it. All right, so let's set up the hatch wrench. So we could come in from the top, so I should seal this up. And then let's start setting this up. So one, two, three. I need to put a uh, auto sweeper here. That's what it looks like. Wait a second. Why do I have a sweeper here? Oh, I never put in the loaders. Yeah, the loaders were supposed to be uh, how we remove the eggshells. Dude, how much eggshells do I have here? Oh, it's only 20 kilograms. It's not a lot. Oh, that's because they have access. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Uh, so we do have to fix some of those things. Okay. So let's look at this. This is a critter setter uh, setup setup. So it's going to be here. Looks like I have to break through. So we'll keep these two tiles open. And then we'll go like that. Because it looks like I want to keep this there. I have no idea what to do with all the salt water in my map. So I start pumping it into infinite storage. Currently at 122 kilograms per tile. Dude. You got it. Or 122 thousand per tile is that what you mean yo man you could that's that's free oxygen technically that's also a lot of salt if you wanted to salinate that had i am not one half done dude so it's it's only gonna go up huh oh man you could always uh convert that into water which is gonna be sweet yeah one hundred and twenty-two thousand kilograms per tile yeah that's a lot I mean, you could start deleting it. Theoretically, that's an option. I could actually put a loader in here, and that probably is what makes sense. Two rooms, that one loader. After that, I deleted what's on top of my map. Yeah, man, you're not going to need that much water. That might give you an incentive to go for something crazy like 100 dupes, Kappa. <laughs> Just saying. Maybe you want to, you know, do a 100 dupe run like I am. <laughs> Not saying you should, man, but it's, it's there. Alright, the automation's probably going to be very similar. This goes down. Setup goes in like this. And then we'll have a sensor for that, sure. And then we have to set up some shoots. Okay, so this one is because of how that sets up. And 
there is no other place to put the gates. So that has to stick out. So I have a auto refill, depending on the type of egg it is, which honestly shouldn't matter. We could just make all the eggs go up, right? Realistically. Because we're not sweeping the coal. I built the frozen food storage. Food at 1.5 million and climbing. All 60 of my bog buckets are not being eaten because I have so much meat. <laughs> Yo, man. It sounds like you're stabilized at Xandroth. Dude, you really could just take on a bunch of dupes for no reason now. That is actually an option. That is actually going to be an option. Hmm, that's going to be the same type of setup, right? Yeah, and I'm just wasting power here. Back from school concert? Nice, yeah, school concert. I remember that. I went to a school concert before. It was not bad. Hope you had a nice time, though, Linden. And hello, hello. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Once you get your second spawn, oh yeah, I get to prep up the oxygen. Makes sense. Makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, I have an idea on how we have to rebuild this now. Alright, we gotta start from the unbuilt ones first. So let's wait for all the save lag. Deep's gotta work. Wait for the auto save lag. There we go. Alright, so let's mine this. Let's mine that. Hydrogen gets to get released. Short concert, 40 minutes long. Great musicians. Who was there? It's it's all good if you don't want to talk about it either. It might dox you, right? Someone's gonna Google, oh, when did uh when did uh, this guy play at this school? Kind of a thing. Like, what school is he playing at? The dope. Was it your type of music? I remember when my school had that, my university. And it was it was just like not what I was into at the moment. So I was like, eh, it was whatever's. You know? Because I remember when I was in uni, they had... Uh, they had, um, damn, I don't know what type of, I, it might have been country music, I don't know. And then at the time, I was like, really getting into like techno and house music. So to me, I was like, oh, that was a letdown. <laughs> like, oh, country music, oh man, I don't know about that. Alright, so we're probably going to copy this setup, which doesn't always work if we have the sweeper there. So we're going to have to do a double sensor like that. Could I change up the automation? Hmm. It's potentially possible. I wish I could switch this out. And then we get the sensor from the other setup. I remember being in band in school and fake playing my clarinet. <laughs> so you just stood there with the instrument in your mouth, dude? Oh, man. I guess the, you have to fake it till you make it, right? Oh, just students from the music department. Gotcha, gotcha. What kind of music were they playing? Looks like I want the shoot top here always. And then it looks like I want the element sensor always as well. And this looks like the design, but with the uh, setup there, it's probably going to mean that I have to move my critter sensors. Because of the auto sweeper setup. Puff farm? No, no puff farm, grandpas. We're making our hatch farm a little bit better. I need to optimize it, basically. So I want to kind of do that setup, but then the wires are not actually optimized because of the auto sweeper. So I need a better pattern. So the idea probably is I need to have a critter sensor in this tile. Which probably is fine, so I go like this. 
And then this setup requires me to have a bridge right here. And then I go like that. Most likely. How you doing, Grandpa? I hope you're doing well. Hope Leo is fine. Is he walking yet, man? How's the babies? Old classical pieces, Mozart, other composers who I don't know. Oh, man, they're doing the fancy stuff, huh? So it was like a uh, orchestra, almost. Pretty much. Did they, they, they have a conductor with the wand? Like he's playing uh, Harry Potter, uh, you know, role play. Swings the wand. Leviosa. <laughs> Start saying random as Harry Potter spells. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I after watching Harry Potter, man, I imagine every conductor that's like a Harry Potter fan would be doing stuff like that. <laughs> Just waving that around. Oh, man. It's like, I'm a, I'm a wizard. Splash. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know. It's probably not like that, but I, I like to believe that's the case. Shine farm? No, I don't want to do shine bugs. Too much lag. Vertical hatch farms. Yep, vertical hatch farms. Super good in you. Yeah, we doing all right. Start to make uh, beacon angry. Rage at uh, daycare. Oh, damn. That's tough. You got a troublemaker on your hands, huh? Daycare start to say uh, no, no, no. Oh, wow. Knows how to say no. I would think grandpa's babies are all grown up. Yo, man. Grandpa's has uh, his youngest child right now. There's a little babies. He grows up so fast. That's you over there. You're a hairy wizard. Imagine. Oh, this is locked. Oh, wow. Uh, let's deconstruct this tile in order to build that then. And then the automation here is going to be a little bit jank. All right. So this was a and gate. And it's probably going to be like this. Oh, wait. I had to have a different sensor for that. Oh, that doesn't work. I actually don't have space for that. It was mostly two people playing at a time. Piano, violin, a, a bassoon. I have never seen a bassoon before. I have no idea. It could be a long side. I don't even know what that is. I'm probably pronouncing the instrument name wrong. Real talk. Bassoon? What? What is that? Alright. So I can't fit the design. Right? Because I need another sensor. This can't go this way and go like that. And then still operate the way I need it to. Ah, oh, this is tough. I don't want to use a shutoff for this. So I have to extend the layer. Ah, oh, that's going to be gross. I don't want to do that. Because I don't want this to be uneven. Like, this, this is already uneven with a double layer. And I'm thinking about adding another layer on top. So that I get the space? That doesn't work, though. Ah... Uh... I need to keep this here. It's kind of like a sax. Interesting. Any A sax could go along with anything, though. <laughs> At least in my opinion. So this goes like that. Yeah. So I don't have the tile space. I can't crack into the bottom because I need the 96 tile space. The corners wouldn't be bad, but I'm using that for the sweepers already. And then it has to be in the room for this to work. Epic sax guy. That's what I'm thinking, man. Epic sax guy. I have to add one tile. Oh, that's gross, dude. That's not going to look good. So let's think about this. We need to have an element sensor. And then it has to be triggered off of this. Does it though? Alright, hatch eggs. Let's actually check that out. Can I just overcrowd them? They take 5%, so it's 20 cycles per egg. Right? Hatches have a 17% per cycle. That means we get an egg every one, two, three, four, 
five, six cycles. A little bit less, but you know, rounding, rounding down. So every six cycles we get an egg. That egg will hatch in 20 cycles. I don't want more than one egg in the room at a time, though. That's the problem. Lot lower pitch. Does it have the uh, brassy sound? It's made of wood. It's made of wood? What in the heck? It's made of wood. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see how we could do this. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, let's cut this up. And then I got to remove the AND gate. I see it now, boys. Let's go. I think this works. Okay, let's check on everything else right now. While the dupes need to uh, build that. Got the bunker doors in the top. Got to build out the ladders. We need to deconstruct this so that we don't get the uh, notifications anymore of broken buildings. Mamba's woken up. I heard a move. I'm not going to lie, man. Mamba's collar has a bell on it. And if it wasn't for the bell, I wouldn't know sometimes when Mamba's moving around. 100%, man. <laughs> Mamba's the sneaky cat. 103! Only way to do it, baby. I don't want to take any more because it's starting to lag, though. You know how it is. They don't think it be like it is, man, but it do. It's starting to lag now uh, sometimes. As long as the conductor's not throwing a stick, that makes sense. What you want to do if one egg missed, he's going to pick uh, one and drop there? No, no, no. So what I'm doing is, is that when these hatches here are uh, laying egg, I want the first egg to drop off in the room if there's no egg. right but i only want the egg to drop off if i have less than eight hatches that makes it so that uh we only add an egg for it to hatch if we need it at the bottom so i don't want to have too many i could have under that's fine because i'm just trying to do uh down the hatch achievement and they get a little bit of supplemental meat. So it doesn't have to be perfectly efficient. But I don't want... Uh, what I don't want is dupes picking up hatches and dropping them off by themselves. I want this to be automatic. Alright, I think I have an idea now. So there was an AND gate we needed to add. And I think this was it. Yeah, this is it. So we go like this deconstruct that automation this goes like this this goes like that this goes like this now the sensor here could go down and then bridge up top on top of the sweeper now oh there we go and then everything else gets deconstructed let's go all right so we got to do that everywhere else so we got to cut this up cut this up this one we'll probably do later. And gates, and gates. Just want to ask a question in case critters live in a livable temperature but not comfortable. Would your critter debuff? It depends on the critter. It actually depends on the critter. Um, some critters that doesn't matter, right? Some critters it doesn't matter. So in case of a hatch, um, the livable range. Or comfortable range does not impact the conversion rate. But honestly, I don't know if there is a critter in the game yet that actually cares about this. Because there is no debuff that uh, needs to be comfortable. They're like, there's no debuff for being in the livable range, but not the comfortable range, if that makes sense. So it's like, since there's no debuff, it doesn't seem to affect the critters. But, yeah, I'm thinking about it. 
happiness affects some of the new critters. Uh, K-Cows affect some of the new critters. None of the old critters in the base game actually cared about this. So, like, uh, Hatches, Dracos, Pips, Puffs, uh, Slicksters. It didn't seem that any of this actually mattered in terms of resources or egg laying chance. Yeah, outside of yeah, outside of the eggs for something like Paku, right? Because the Paku, it's like they have to have their eggs in a certain temperature. That's a fry, right? You get a tropical egg between certain temperatures, but yeah, nothing with the ideal or comfortable. Yeah, Slicksters too. I love hearing critters, so thanks, <laughs> dude. Uh, hey, man. Sometimes I say words a certain way, and people enjoy it. I remember there was someone in chat that liked it when I said "pinch of pepper nuts," because he likes the way I say "pinch of pepper nuts." <laughs> I was like, "Hey, man. It is what it is. I'm not even mad about that." Chocolate rain. Oh man, that's that's old school. All right, so this is gonna be the design. And then we have to do the AND gate here. So that goes in. This goes in like that. That goes in like that. Simple setup. And then we just got to set this up. So left side, copy. Left side, copy, paste. Uh, we go with this setup because this is the one that's set. Let's go into automation. This is the one that goes into the AND gate. So that's going to be copy, paste, paste. I need a critter sensor here. We got to redo this room. There's no critters in it yet, so it should be fine. This gets cut. Automation goes in from the top. Goes like that. Goes like that. This goes like that. This gets deconstructed. This goes straight down. Cancel that. We just got to pliers this one. Oh, I should have kept the other one. Feels bad. Because I need to go... Oh, this doesn't matter because there's no sweeper here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this goes... Uh, like that. Like that. Then we'll get the AND gate in here. 